What's up you guys? Today we are finishing up the valve cover job. I got the valve covers in the mail today, so let's go. All right guys, so I got everything set up right here behind me. Let's take a look at my little setup. So as you can see, I got all the colors of paint that I'm gonna be using. I got my soapy water, my alcohol, my scratch pad, and a few towels to dry. So these are my valve covers. They're brand new out of the box. Haven't been touched, no sticky fingers, no greasy fingers, no nothing. So yeah. So yeah, we're about to start cleaning up and getting it ready for paint. Um, let's see how it comes out. Okay, so first step would be to pull it out of the bag, of course. <laughs> and then once you get it out of the bag, you have to take your gasket out. Now this gasket does only fit one way and the other gasket on the other side only fits one way. So if you got a brand new gasket, just put the gasket to the side in the bag that it came in. Next step would be to get this prepped for, get this thing prepped for paint. And the way you're gonna do that is, in your arsenal of tools, you're going to use a scotch pad, a cup of soapy water. So essentially, this is very easy. Um, it is, it can be a little pain in the ass because you have little small, crevices that you can't really reach just reach them to the best of your ability of course you don't have to sand any of the hose nipples down or the brass of course so just take your time get as much of it sand down as possible so that it can really hold and adhere to the paint so let's get to it And you're kind of killing two birds with one stone with this because you're essentially, you're sanding it to make the paint stick better and you're cleaning it at the same time. So. Okay, so I found this in the um, garage from another project I had done. So this is gonna really come in handy rather than doing it by hand. So let's go. I am still using 50%. Um, I don't have a high grade, but like I said, if you have a high grade, of course it's better to use. So that, and then I actually went to the garage and found two brand new microfiber cloth pads, which is gonna really help me. One to uh, apply the alcohol and one to dry it up, which it'll kind of dry up for the most part by itself, but you just wanna make sure you get all of it. And then after we, the alcohol is dry, then we're gonna use painter's tape to cover all of these brass uh, threads and to cover the holes here, to cover all of your ports like this one, that one, that is it. Now, a note, you, you do, I do not have to cover each valve cover hole because 
this valve cover does not have threads. It's only just holes. So I can paint those. If you have threads, you might want to cover them. Just FYI. Okay, you guys, so this is it. This is it. Gold flake metallic. It's really hard to see the colors because I'm in my living room right now and it's dark. It's the only light I got. But, man, is that not going to be beautiful on the car with that candy red plenum. So... That's it guys, we're about to head to bed and let it dry and we will install tomorrow.